how omeprazole interacts with clopidogrel so let us see the clopidogrel structure now this is the structure of the clopidogrel and we can observe a heterocyclic ring system which is a six member ring system attached with a five member ring system so this ring system is the thionopyridine so that's why clopidogrel is called as a thionopyridine derivative how this clopidogrel acts so clopidogrel inhibits the p2y receptors thereby it is going to inhibit the adp dependent platelet aggregation so adp is one of the mediator which is acting on the p2y receptors which is blocked by clopidogrel and once these receptors are blocked the platelet aggregation is inhibited that's why clopidogrel acts as an anti platelet acid now let us see the omeprazole and omeprazole is having the structure like this and it is having the heterocyclic ring system benzimidazole and omeprazole belongs to the category of proton pump inhibitors and it is going to inhibit the one of the pump H plus K plus ATPase pump which is responsible for the secretion of the gastric acid in the form of HCl. Now this pump is inhibited by omeprazole thereby it is going to inhibit the gastric acid secretion. Now let us see when this combination is used. Clopidogrel as we have seen it is an antiplatelet agent it can be used in the various conditions where there is an increased formation of the clot. This can be used in the some of the situations like uh, atherosclerosis, formation of an atheromatic plaque uh, within the blood vessels. Otherwise, it can be used in the stroke as well as the myocardial infarction. In all these conditions, clopidogrel can be given. Similarly, omeprazole can be given in various situations like it can be given along with the anesthetics to control the gastric acid uh, produced by the anesthetics, and it can also be used in the treatment of the peptic ulcers. And it can be given in the conditions like the gastric acidity and gastric ulcers. So wherever the gastric acid levels are excessively increased, omeprazole can be given. So there is a chance that a patient may be prescribed with the clopidogrel along with the omeprazole. So there may be a significant interaction between the clopidogrel and omeprazole. So what is this interaction between this clopidogrel and omeprazole? The interaction between any of the drugs may be two types like pharmacodynamic interactions and pharmacokinetic interactions. In pharmacodynamic interaction, the drugs may interact at uh, mechanism of action or at therapeutic actions. So here clopidogrel is acting like an antiplatelet agent uh, whereas omeprazole acting like an anti-ulcer agent. So there is no relation between their mechanisms even their actions. So the pharmacodynamic interaction is not possible between the clopidogrel and omeprazole. Pharmacokinetic interaction is possible between these two drugs. So in this video, let us see how they are going to interact. Pharmacokinetic interaction. So clopidogrel is actually a prodrug which should be activated within the biological system to produce its antiplatelet action. So clopidogrel can be converted into its active metabolite by the cytochrome P450 system. And once it is converted to active metabolite, then it can show its antiplatelet action. And here one of the cytochrome P450 enzyme which is responsible for the conversion of the clopidogrel into its active metabolite is the CYP2C19. Now this cytochrome P450-2C19 enzyme is blocked by omeprazole. Thereby omeprazole inhibits the bioactivation of the clopidogrel. So this is the structure of this clopidogrel. Now the clopidogrel having an ester functionality, this ester can be cleaved to produce a metabolite which is having the free carboxylic acid. And this step is mediated by one of the enzymes esterases. And once this free carboxylic acid metabolite is formed, it is then conjugated and excreted in the urine. So this is a one way of metabolism of clopidogrel. But the main metabolic pathway which is responsible for the activation of the clopidogrel into its active metabolite is mediated by cytochrome P450 system. Now clopidogrel can be metabolized into a intermediate metabolite that is a 2-oxo clopidogrel and this 2-oxo clopidogrel is then further metabolized into the, a thiol metabolite which is the active form of the clopidogrel. Now these two steps are mediated by cytochrome P450 system. So the first step is mediated by various cytochrome P450 enzymes like CYP2C19, 1A2 and 2B6 where CYP2C19 is playing the major role. And similarly the second step is also mediated by several enzymes where again CYP2C19 is again playing the key role. 
Now these two steps are blocked by omeprazole as omeprazole inhibits the, the activity of the CYP2C19 thereby inhibits the bioactivation of the clopidogrel. Then what is the effect of this interaction? Just we have seen that omeprazole is going to inhibit the bioactivation of the clopidogrel thereby it inhibits the clopidogrel action. In this way whenever omeprazole is given along with the clopidogrel it decreases the antiplatelet action of the clopidogrel. So whenever omeprazole is given along with the clopidogrel, clopidogrel is not metabolized to its active metabolite thereby its activity is going to be reduced. This is very important in the patients who are suffering with stroke or formation of a clot within the blood vessels where the antiplatelets are very important to reduce the further risk of the cardiovascular complications. So that's why omeprazole should not be combined with the clopidogrel in order to prevent loss of antiplatelet activity of the clopidogrel.